Welcome back to the channel, where we make genealogy simple, organized, and fun. If you're getting started with Family Tree Maker 2024, or you're upgrading from an older version, this video is for you. I'll walk you through every step of setting up FDM 2024, from installation to syncing your tree with Ancestry or Family Search. Grab a cup of tea and let's dive in. First, let's get Family Tree Maker 2024 on your computer. Head to the official Family Tree Maker website, www.macev.com FTM. If you've already purchased it, click Download FTM 2024 from your email link or the Upgrade Center. If you haven't, you'll find Purchase and Upgrade options right on the page. Choose your operating system, Windows or Mac, and download the installer file. Once the file is downloaded, double-click to start the installer. Accept the terms and conditions, choose your install location, or just go with the default and click Install. This usually takes just a few minutes. When it's done, open the program and let's walk through the initial setup together. On the first launch, you'll be prompted to activate your software. Use the email address you purchased with and enter your license key if prompted. If you're upgrading from a previous version, you may also get the option to migrate your settings and trees. I recommend saying yes here, it saves time. You'll then be guided through a quick preferences setup. Choose between light or dark mode. Set your default tree storage folder and decide how often to back up your work. I suggest enabling automatic backups every time you close the program. Better safe than sorry. Now you're in the Family Tree Maker workspace and you've got a few options. You can open an existing FTM tree, import a GEDCOM file, or click New Tree to start from scratch. If you're brand new, starting fresh is easy. Just enter your starting person's details, usually yourself, and begin adding relatives. To make the most of Family Tree Maker 2024, you'll want to connect it to Ancestry and or Family Search. Click the green Sync Now button or go to the Plan workspace. From there, you can log into your Ancestry account and link your local tree to an online one or upload a new one entirely. Family Search syncing works a bit differently. It allows person-by-person -person matching and is more manual, but it's still a great feature for LDS users or anyone who wants to pull from that massive global tree. Once synced, you can access web hints, merge records, and back up your tree to the cloud. Before we wrap up, don't forget to check your backup settings. Go to Tools Options on Windows or Family Tree Maker Preferences on Mac. Set automatic backups to happen every time you exit. You can also do manual backups anytime with File, Backup, and choose to include Media, Sync Info, and more. I also recommend saving backups to an external drive or a cloud folder like Dropbox or Google Drive. And that's it. Your Family Tree Maker 2024 is ready to go. In future videos, we'll dive into tree navigation, source citations, and troubleshooting sync errors. If this setup guide helped you, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more genealogy tech tutorials. Got questions about your setup? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to help.